Hey guys, Harv here, and welcome back to Career Mode Episode 6 in the Kerbal Space Program. In the previous episode, we went on a rescue mission, we failed to rescue the guy because he decided to be in an orbit up here, which, pff, no, I'm not going to waste any fuel again up there. It's a waste of resources. We've got problems down on Kerbin, why are we expending resources out in space? Hang on, that, that's a different argument. So, rescue thing has been landed here. And it did go to the moon, did the flyby of the moon, did several crew reports whilst doing that. And we can recover it now. Ah, okay, 96 science. No, 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 83 earned on this, which gives us a total of 96. Crew reports while in space near the moon. EVA reports while in space high over Kerbin. EVA reports in space high over the moon. EVA reports from space just above the moon's Midlands. Midlands, I come from the Midlands. Hey, I come from the moon. The Midlands. East Midlands, yeah. Recovery of the vessel returned from flyby of the moon. Gave us 12 science. Excellent, okay. So 96 science now. Now what we can do is save up that science and expend it all in one go, but no, I'm going to buy something now. Hopefully there'll be something useful to buy now to research. I have 96 science. So where are our options? Start from the bottom. We could get science. Okay, we could buy use science to buy science. It does give us, it does give us, the most important thing here is batteries, so we can transmit things more. Hmm. Or we can have this very tempting science junior thing. So it's 45 science, so it's a good chance we'll be able to research two things. Let's have a look. This is 45 as well. This is 18. That's 45, and that's 45. Okay. So, batteries. Uh, probes. Which needs with need energy. We need to generate energy. Batteries and probes, or maybe probes and launch lamps and better decouplers and struts. Ooh, if we get struts, nothing will ever cause our ship to to fail again. Struts are the savior of Kerbal kind, and as a result, I'm hesitant to actually research them yet because it would probably break the enjoyment too quickly. Oh, that's a very confident thing to say, Harvey. Well, it's true. Struts are just. Overpowered, essentially. And we're going to launch lamps, we get better decouplers, and we get stacked tricouplers. Hmm, okay, I'm thinking struts. Let's get some struts, there we go. And what's over here? Ooh, okay, air breathing engines and intakes, and loads of flaps. Space plane parts, interesting. And then it's decouplers and detachment manifolds, whatever they are. Adapters, a lot of adapters and different sized fuel tanks. Here we have fuel lines, fuel lines, another savior of the Kerbal race, and RCS tanks. 90 science to get that. This would give us a better, f <laughs> nothing essentially. Advanced rocketry, basically nothing. But I think we need it in order to unlock this, which we really do want. So we probably will end up going for that, um, as opposed to batteries and any of that. Okay. We still have this as well, which I don't really care about. Now that we have those ones, that's fine. Uh, let's research this. There we go. So we can get this. 90 science. We can get this. Heavy rocketry. Okay, that'd be interesting. Next logical step for rocketry technology is to just go bigger. I agree with that. Let's get 90 science and get this and that. I really don't care about survivability or stability. We've got vectoring engines, we don't need your terrible flaps. Although, we will require it to build up to here, I believe. Unless we can get this and... Oh no, because this I think you require that as well. Ah, oh, I don't know, let's get back to the game. So, we're gonna go... We're gonna go do something today. We're not gonna rescue that guy, he's fine. We'll just let him eventually drift back into Kerbin's atmosphere, I guess. And meanwhile, we shall uh, land on Minmus. The moon might be a step above us. Or maybe, or maybe we will go to the moon. Let's design a new rocket. Complete new rocket. Let's call this this uh, type. Let's call it... Oh, come on. Why aren't you working? Uh, I've got this stuck on me. It's stuck on me. It's stuck. Okay, fine. Stay there, then. Let us call this, let us call this, let us call, let us call this... Rocket... Rocket... Tree... Uh, 
Perhaps a bit too of a wordy title, methinks. Rocketry's logical progression. Or we could turn this into Rocketry is logical. That's a bit shorter. Rocketry is log. Rocketry. I don't know what he means. Rocketry is logical. Uh, okay. Rocketry is logical. Mark one. And let's. We still only have this command pod. That's what I'd like. I'd like a better command pod. A two man command pod. Uh, and woo, okay, access to things, thingy, thingy, things. So we're going to we're going to do a moon landing. We're going to do a moon landing. We tried once, we failed. It's time to try again. I mean, the rocket we had there was probably capable of it, but you know, we're gonna make things even better with struts. Struts, savior of the universe, kind of like Flash. And let's, uh, hmm. I want to go for a different type of lander. I want to go for something different, new, innovative. I want to go for something that is probably a lot less effective than what we've already had. Yeah. Something like this. Oh, it might work. Let's do it. Come on. Let's do it. It might work. Uh, we can put some struts. We're gonna make use of these struts. There we go. Just strut everything together. Even if it probably doesn't need it, just strut it together. And we shall position these just on those base, that base limb, lip, something. There we go. Plenty of landing legs. We will have plenty from now on. Struts enable. They're a very enabling technology. Allow us to do many, many things. So let's let's make a big rocket. Come on, let's make something big. Something that could probably go to another planet. Something, something like this. Something that is doomed to fail. But it will look awesome whilst it does it, hopefully. Is the plan. Uh, I just want to move that there. Move that there. And now another... So that's the transfer stage that we want to launch stage. A launch stage, a launch stage worthy of something. Uh, two tanks there. Always vectoring. I don't really care about the other type of engine, just want vectoring engines. Vectoring engines are the best things. Uh, let's put... This is this is very much like one of my first successful rocket designs. My first most successful rocket was Shoot for the Moon, is the, the name of it. And I made a thread on the forums about it. And I also wrote a short story about it. Uh, which was interesting. I thought it, I think it's terrible now. I thought it was quite good at the time, and people said it was quite good. So you know, perhaps I'm just an amazing author waiting for a chance, or perhaps I'm just a little kid who likes to think he's good at things. Do we have any nose cones? Nope. Haven't looked locks any nose cones whatsoever. Remember, Harvey, you're not going for the stability option. Oh uh, yeah, that's come back to bite me in the ass, won't it? So we've got struts. We've got a lot of rocketry and rocketry power. And uh, we're probably probably nearly ready, actually. Let's just attach things in all the logical places, like here and here, and alternately here and here. There we go. And is that it? No, we'll put some put some boosters on, just like shoot for the moon. Boosters will go. Where are they? Here. Excellent. Excellent, eh? And we can have some launch lamps. Uh, put them... Why isn't that working? Come on. There we go. Put them there. And there. Alright. Good, good. And that should be a fully functioning ship. I hope. That should easily be able to get to the moon. Christ. Rocketry is logical. Yes, it's very logical. Very logical business. So, let's have our main engine start and then boosters go. Nah, screw it. Everything in one stage. And then we detach the boosters, then we detach that, and then we start the next engines in the same stage. And then we detach that and start the next engines in the same stage. Detach that, and then parachutes. Okay, let's do some science as well, seeing as we've probably got way too much fuel. Uh, science. Let's put... I really only need one, because you can reuse them, but no oh well. Put it down here. Very nice. Okay. Uh, do we want an abort mechanism? Yes. I don't want to kill people. Well, I want to kill people as little as possible, I should say. 
So let's make an actual abort sequence. Uh, it's now 10 minutes, so this is a building episode, my apologies. Well, you know, people might like building episodes, you never know. Um, you never know. Uh, it's a board sequence isn't particularly interesting. But we can try. So if we were to put boosters here. Oh, it looks terrible. Screw it. We don't need safety. Who needs safety? Gah. Save that and launch. Five minutes left of the episode. Let's, let's get this into orbit, yeah? And then we'll go to the moon. Hopefully. I'm actually, I do actually have quite a lot of faith in this design. It's a lot more solid. A lot more stable. It's destined to be the one. Launching in three, two, one. Lift off! Look at it go! The only thing making it different from shoot to the moon is that the transfer stage is bigger. The lander is completely different. The lander was not like this whatsoever. And... No flaps here. There would have been flaps here if this was shoot to the moon. I am disappointed. Okay, let's bring this engine down just a tad. Don't want to waste our fuel too much. Despite the excess we have, we still don't want to waste it. So, there we go. 100 meters per second. And we can climb, and we can climb up, we can leave the cradle. And we'll make it halfway to anywhere. Boosters being detached in 3, 2, 1. Drop and accelerate. There we go, no noticeable drop in speed, that was good. But now we're on full throttle, racing towards the stars. Let's have a, let's have a look through here. Nothing, absolutely nothing, okay. Where else can we look? Is there anything interesting in the command pod? What's our altitude? Oh, probably time to start turning over, isn't it? No, seven kilometers, we're fine. Um, vertical speed, surface velocity. Hmm, okay, now we'll start our turn. Put it just about here whilst I carry on inspecting the middle of my, or the inside of my command pod. They're very cool, I do like the command pods. They are very interesting. Kind of hard to do orbital maneuvers in them because you don't have height or... Well, you have radar height, but you don't have uh, orbital velocity or anything. Okay, so that's SAS. Stage is ready. Rotation... I don't know, we're not rotating, I guess? What's this one? Beneath RCS. I don't know. Landing gear. It might be landing gear. Possibly. Okay, let's turn over all the more. Nearly out on this stage, but it served its purpose beautifully, so I don't really mind. Okay, let's just... I think that's landing gear. I think... No, but they're folded up. Hang on, if we... Okay, I pressed G, nothing happened. Did it open up the landing legs? No. That would be why, then. Another G press didn't do it either. Interesting. Okay, this is going to be detached. And burn, and then cut that throttle because... Nope, we need to carry on going. Carry on going. I I had too much confidence. I thought we would already be at our apoapsis by now. Well, you know, we'd already have a good apoapsis. So, hang on. Open up landing legs. Ooh, open. There we go. Uh, no, it wasn't landing gear. Okay. Huh. Ah, see, there it, it is. It is. It is landing gear. It just got stuck on to start off with for some reason. Yeah. Anyway, keep this here. Get this into orbit. And it's very near the end of the episode. So, what do you think? What do you think? Can we make it to the moon? I reckon we can. This ship is a beast. This ship has a lot of fuel. An awful lot of fuel. So much fuel that it would be a million to one chance for anything to go wrong. But it just might work. I've been reading Terry Pratchett recently. Terry Pratchett is an amazing person. An amazing author and an amazing person. Thought I'd share that with you. So we have a 70 kilometer apoapsis. Time warp to get up to that. Circularize our orbit and then we shall end the episode. Started saying all this a bit too early, haven't I? There's still at least one minute left until I actually orbit. 
Oh, maybe no. Maybe... Maybe 30 seconds. How will I spend those 30 seconds? You decide! No, I need to be burning. That's what I need to be doing in those 30 seconds. Come on. Turn. Turn. Burn. There we go. Okay, don't turn too much. Just circularize. Just make it a nice, stable orbit. 70 kilometers up. We're just above the atmosphere, really. And we do have plenty of fuel. We do have an awful lot of fuel, actually. Scary. Scary amount of fuel. There's a parapsis. And that's us nearly in orbit. Come on. 69. 69. Oh, 70. There we go. Okay, we're in orbit. Thank you very much for watching this episode of of career mode and we shall land on the moon in the next one. I'll see you all next time.